What's up YouTube? This is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your iPhone 5S. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously just slide over and then you're going to select your language. So I'm just going to choose English and then you're going to select your country or region. So we're going to be all the way down here or I'm going to be all the way down here. In the United States right there. And then we're going to choose a Wi-Fi network. So this is my home network here. And I'll just enter my password. All right, so it's loading there. And we're connected. Now it's going to activate the iPhone. So you will have to have a SIM card in the device. I'm going to enable the location services. And I'm going to set it up as a new iPhone. You can also restore from the iCloud backup or restore from an iTunes backup. So I'm going to set up as a new iPhone. And then I'm going to sign in to my Apple ID. All right, so once you sign in with your Apple ID, you'll be greeted with the terms and conditions. So if you want to read that, then do so. If not, then just tap agree and then hit agree right here when prompted to. And now it's going to set up your Apple ID. And you can either use your iCloud or don't use your iCloud. And you can see down here, it tells you what iCloud is. It lets you access your music, photos, contacts, calendars, and more on all of your devices automatically. So for now, I'm going to use iCloud. And then it asks you if you want to use Find My iPhone. And Find My iPhone allows you to locate, lock, and erase your iPhone if you lose it. Now your Apple ID and password will be required before anyone can erase or reactivate it. So I definitely recommend using Find My iPhone. It's definitely the higher level of security. So I'm just going to tap that right there. And now we're going to set up the Touch ID. So you can either set it up now or set it up later. For this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So we're gonna tap on setup now. So the first step here is to scan the finger or thumb that you normally use on the home button. So I'm just gonna use my thumb right here. And when you put your finger on the home button, it's actually gonna give you a little bit of a vibration. And that way you know that it did recognize it as well as the little animation there that gives you a little bit of your fingerprint in red. And when I tap it again, it's gonna fill up with some more red. Now you just want to lay it on the button. You don't wanna press it or anything like that. Just lay it on the button and it's gonna vibrate again and you saw that little animation. So let's do it again. And let's do it again. One more time. Nope, two more times. All right, so there we go. Move your finger slightly between scans. So hit okay. Make sure that you're moving your finger around because that means that it's going to be able to, depending on where you press with your finger, it's going to still recognize it. So I'm gonna do the bottom of my thumb here now adjust your grip and keep going to capture the edges of your print. So now we're gonna hold it like this. We'll hold it like this instead. So now I'll do it again. All right, and do it again. And just keep doing it on different parts of your thumb that you normally press the home button with until it tells you to stop. So there you go, success. Touch ID is ready. Your print can be used for unlocking your iPhone. Perfect, so let's tap continue. And then we can create a passcode if you wanna do that. I'll just use 1111. Tap use code, do it again. And you can set up Touch ID for purchases. So you'd either set that up now or set it up later. Let's just do it now. Now it's asking you if you wanna use Siri. I do want to use Siri, so I'm just going to use it. This is where you're going to choose whether you want to send your diagnostics to Apple or not. I usually don't send it. And then you can register with Apple if you want to do that. I'm just going to not register. Tap next. And now welcome to your iPhone. Tap get started. All right, so the first thing that we want to try is make sure that the touch ID worked. So here we go. Open it up and it worked. I didn't press the button. We'll just tap don't allow for now and we'll do that one more time. Just gonna lightly press our finger on the button. You don't have to press it down. Just lay it on top of the button and it's gonna recognize it and unlock it. Alright guys, so that's how you set up your iPhone 5S. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys, until next time. This is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.